It's time for Sunday brunch and joining us this morning is the famous Chef Egg and this What's morning up? you are making fish tacos. You know it. So I'm getting ready for my taco takeover class at the Blue Moon Cafe on July 20th. This is so and fun. And to do that we have some fish tacos right in front of you. But before we start frying fish tacos I want you to make our cilantro jalapeno sauce. Can all right. you handle that? I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the mic down and you're going to talk while I put the ingredients okay, in. Okay. That's no problem at all. We have some mayonnaise. Just dump that right in there. All right. We got mayonnaise. We got some sour cream, and that's gonna be the kind of creamy base for the sauce. But now we have to flavor that sauce up. So we have fresh cilantro, lots of fresh cilantro. We have lots of fresh garlic, as well as fresh jalapenos, and you wanna cut the seeds out for that. Okay. And then give it a, a healthy dose of fresh lime juice, because fresh lime juice not only is gonna give us lots of flavor, but it's gonna enhance the natural flavors that are in there. So you don't have to add a lot of salt and pepper, maybe just a pinch will do that for you. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna mix that up, mm -hmm. and if you want to, you can actually throw that into a blender, okay. and you're gonna get a smooth, creamy sauce like we have right over now there. Now that is delicious. I've already taken the liberty of dipping oh, some yeah, of this yeah, fish yeah. in there. All right, so now what's next? All right, so we have some cod over here, mm -hmm. and that's a traditional uh, fish that you're gonna use for fish tacos. You could use tilapia, you could use mahi-mahi, you could do shrimp, anything you want. It'll all work. But you want a nice, light, flaky fish that's inexpensive. Mm -hmm. And what I have is I have some taco seasoning and a right. little bit of flour on there, and I'm gonna dip it in this beer batter over here. And so and that's flour and beer, and yep. then literally you've just seasoned it with the taco seasoning. Yep, and again, a little bit of flour. Mm -hmm. Not much and though. You, yep, you dredge that in flour, and yeah. the flour on the fish is gonna help the batter to stick as this fries. So you just want a very, very thin coat yeah. of Yep, shake it Doink off. Doink it you know on the side there if you want to. And then you're going to place it right in the oil. I'm just going to do a few pieces at a time because you don't want the oil in the pan to cool down. Okay. The big issue with frying It'll cool things, down with the more fish that's in yeah, there? Yeah, okay. because the fish is cold. Okay, that makes so sense. So if you, um, you want to get this oil mm -hmm. nice and hot, about 350 degrees, and you're going to throw that in there, and you're going to cook it on both sides, about three minutes on each side until it's golden brown, and that's what you have over here. That looks gorgeous, but you did tell me you could do this with just a little bit of oil, so if you want to cut on the calories, Yeah, yeah, you can pan yeah. sear this, mm -hmm. and that would be totally cool. So we have taken this fish out of the oil, right. and we've taken some of this homemade taco seasoning mm. and sprinkled it right on it top, so and good. you want to do that immediately when it comes out of the okay, oil. Okay, that way it stays on it. You know it. All right. So what we're going to do over here is take mm -hmm. some of this fish and break up pieces of fish right on top and just take this and you can take whole pieces like that and you have big chunks of fish. Now what I want you to so do yeah. is take some of that cabbage mm -hmm. and put it right on oh, top. that's what that is. All right, mm -hmm. and as I'm doing that, John Collins, you can come in here and check all this out. And Chef A, you're gonna tell us where you're cooking again and how people can sign up. You know it. So we are going to be at the Blue Moon Cafe mm -hmm. on July 20th. You can find tickets at chefegg.com or cookingwithegg.com. I'm also going to be at Artscape at the Kidscape tent talking about uh, space food. And then on the 26th, we'll be at Union Craft Brewery cooking with beer. You are so much fun to cook with. John Collins, a seven-day forecast. Seven days worth.